Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these contemporary style pillows. You can either make your pillow with just one piece of fabric on the front or as in this grouping, I decided to have one with just one piece of fabric and then the design gets a little bit more detailed to where you have all of these little different contemporary geometric designs. I used three different fabrics and they are slip covers. I'm using a 16 inch pillow form. So let's get started. Here are a couple of the fabrics that I'm using for these pillows. Both of these fabrics were purchased at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts and they're part of their Home Essentials line of fabric, which is a more budget-friendly decorative fabric. It, you will probably find it next to the drapery fabric in the store or near the outdoor fabric. That's where it is in my store. So that's where you get these. They were around $9.99 a yard, but I did get them on sale. I used a coupon. So make sure you sign up for that Joann's app. The third fabric, which is a solid black, I got from Walmart. And this was a pre-cut piece of fabric. It was already cut up two yards and it's 45 inches wide and it's a lot less. Joann's just didn't happen to have in the decorative line of fabric, they didn't have a solid black. So I was really lucky to find it there. So if you want this black fabric, you want to use all of these, you know now where you need to go to get it. Let me show you the first pillow. Isn't this beautiful? I loved, I fell in love with this fabric. I had to get it no matter what. I had to get this fabric and it makes me want to go out and buy new living room furniture. I don't think my husband's going to like that idea. But anyway, I thought I'd throw that in. So this is the front of it. If you want to make just a plain pillow like this, you will need one 17 inch square. On the back, I put the black. Now later in the video, I will show you how to make the slip cover back and I'll let you know how much you need. So all three of the pillows will have the same type of back slip cover. One more thing that I added to this pillow, which is just an option, and that is piping on the edges. Now this is not difficult to do once you know how, of course. So I have a couple of links that you can click on so where you can learn how to do this. The fabric for this by, uh, piping was cut on the bias. So I have a video for that. And the other one is how to put the piping together. So there will be a link for that. So they're short little videos, really easy to follow. You can put it on all of your pillows or you cannot put it on at all. So this is a great looking pillow. So let's get started on pillow number two. Take your four and a half inch square and your two pieces of the darker fabric that is two and a half by four and a half. And you're gonna stitch them on opposite sides of that center square. So stitch a one quarter inch seam, then press your seams on the back and then unfold and press on top, pushing these seams towards the, the darker fabric. Then take your two and a half by eight and a half inch piece of fabric and you're going to stitch it on these other two edges here. So you just lay them on top, stitch one quarter inch seam here and a quarter of an inch seam here and then press it as you did with the first two strips. Now take your two lighter pieces of fabric that are four and one quarter inch by eight and a half inch. And you're gonna bring them again on opposite sides, stitch one quarter inch seam on both sides, then press your seams on the back and unfold and press on top. And if the center section here is your darkest fabric, then press your seams towards your darkest fabric. Then take your two pieces that are four and a quarter by 16 and a half inches, and you're going to stitch these on. So you bring them on top and stitch one quarter inch seam, bring this one on top, stitch one quarter inch seam, and again, press your seams on the back 
then unfold it, press on top, and then again always press your seams towards your darkest fabric. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Now let's move on to the last pillow. Now take your two pieces that are two and a half inches wide by four and a half inches long, and then you're going to take four of your darker fabrics that are four and a half inch squares, and then you're going to stitch that center piece in there doing a quarter inch seam. You're always bringing front sides together. Stitch a quarter inch seam. Press your seams and make sure you press them towards your darkest fabric and you do the same thing with this one. Take your two and a half inch wide piece that is ten and a half inches long and you're going to bring it up on top and stitch a quarter inch seam and then you'll add this one on. Go ahead and add it on stitching a quarter inch seam along here. Press your seams again towards the squares, the darkest fabric. Now stitch on your last four pieces. So your last pieces are three and a half inches wide. These two are ten and a half inches long. So you just bring them on top, stitch a quarter inch seam along these edges here, press your seams, unfold, and press your seams towards your darkest fabric. Then add your last two on that are also three and a half inches wide by sixteen and a half. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Now let's move on to showing you how to put the pillow back on. All of the pillows have a slip cover back. So for that slip cover back, you'll need two pieces of fabric that are eleven and a half inches wide by 16 and a half inches in this direction. On just one edge of both the pieces, you're going to fold it over two times. So fold it over a quarter of an inch and then press it all the way down. Fold it again a quarter of an inch and press it all the way down. Then stitch close to this edge along here on both pieces. Take your two pieces for the back and bring them front side down on top of the pillow. Now the edge where you uh, folded it over twice and stitched, they're going to overlap each other. Line up uh, the pieces along the outer edge and place pins to hold them in place. Then stitch around the edges and you're going to do a quarter inch seam. When you stitch over this part, I recommend you back stitch over it. And then put your needle down in the corner when you get a quarter of an inch away from over here. Just leave your needle down through the fabric, lift the presser foot up, and then turn your fabric and begin stitching down the other side and stitch around all four edges. So that the corners will be a little bit more pointed once you turn it front side out. You need to trim just a little bit off of all four corners. I'm not going to trim very much because this is a loose weave fabric so I want to be very careful. So I'm just going to trim a tiny bit down to where it's about an eighth of an inch wide at the corner. Now reach inside and turn it front side out. After you get it front side out, then reach in there and poke at your corners, pushing them out. To insert the pillow, lift up the top piece and push part of the pillow in. And as you're pushing it in, pull on the corners of the pillow form, pulling it towards the corner because otherwise it'll bunch up. Then turn it, squish the pillow and begin pulling on the other flap. Now don't pull too hard because you don't want your seam or your stitches to come apart. And again, pull on those corners and adjust. Push it and kind of mush it around and then straighten out your flap. And so this is what it looks like on the back and then here it is on the front. 
I hope you learned something new and that you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in other pillow projects, check below your YouTube screen for the video links. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on the bell so you can receive notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl and this is Scotty and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing.